Welcome to my piano tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about this beautiful, gorgeous piece by Mendelssohn called Venetianische Gondolide. So song, um, Venetian gondola, gondola song. Gondola is a type of, a, of belt. If you Google it, you'll find it. It's a, it's a long shaped um, belt that it's used to go through the canals. Um, in Venice, it's quite unique in the world. So, it's a leader, ohne Wörter. That means song without words, and it is a book of pieces that uh, Mendelssohn wrote. There are forty-eight leader songs in this book, and they are quite famous. And in these pieces, uh, Mendelssohn represents something, describes something in a very romantic way, romantic in the historical sense. So we have, uh, in this case, we have a, a boat trip through Venice, quite romantic. Um, in this case, um, this piece is not very romantic in the sense that it talks about love, but it talks about sentiments, emotions. And in this case, because this is in G minor, it's very deep and sorrowful, um, very um, sad. Um, and in fact, it starts with an introduction and then the song itself. The tempo is andante sostenuto. Now, andante means at a walking speed. So not too fast, not too slow. Uh, fast enough to go somewhere, so we we are going somewhere, but um, we're not in a rush. So we have time to look around if we need and to think. Okay, this is different from andantino or allegretto or something like that. Sostenuto though means that we don't skim, we don't go ahead, but we pull back. So it's sustained. Sostenuto means, for example, that imagine that you um, go up the stairs and you have a heavy weight with you and then you're carrying it with you, so boom, boom. So uh, automatically we don't really go very quickly up the stairs, but we do hear the steps down, boom, boom. Our weight becomes more audible and perceivable. And in this case, it means that we go, but not too fast. So dan, dan, dan. And now the time is, is in six eight, so it means dan, 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 dan. Okay, so it's slightly more, slightly less, it depends on where we are in the piece. Usually we do start sostenuto, then in fact we don't really keep sostenuto up to the end, otherwise the music will be really heavy. If you imagine that this is also in G minor, you you would imagine that this is really like heavy in terms of emotions um so we cannot keep people crying for <laughs> a few minutes ideally um in this case there are not um major chords at all sometimes we go on to a major chord, but not this time so it is pretty much sad and interestingly emotional Okay, so plenty of pedal, but the main thing in this piece, I would say, is to separate well with the fingers, to um, divide well uh, the accompaniment and the melody. Okay, so first of all, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars of introduction in which we have some sort of melody when the right hand has the, the notes um, on its stave. So there is a sport sound, so that means that that way goes on to fast. So, okay, this is the sense. So we start with the piano and we set the speed basically. So.
I started very quietly and as you can see from the score, the accompaniment is divided between the two hands. So you can do left and right, um, you can separate the quavers, but only for a few bars because then uh, in bar seven you need to go back to the normal um, division of a melody and a complement. So you would have the left hand doing big jumps and then the right hand staying there to sing the song because this is a song to sing. Don't forget that. So in these um, first two bars, we have just the speed and the mode of the piece, the tone. So don't do nothing in particular, just... I play 
because I want to see exactly the weight of each single note. You will need to sing it in your head a lot, a lot, a lot to have a good effect with hands together with two voices in the right hand. When you practice this, um, of course hands separately, so you have Then you can remove it, you can 
can change it. Of course, this music is not always set. Sometimes you can do something slightly different. As long as you state uh, what you want to say, as long as you keep the message the same, then you can move the effects a little bit. Okay, this is part one, and then the, the second part starts now when we have um, another melody. The chords remain minor because this G major that appears here, this is actually G7, um, sort of a um, seventh, uh, the dominant seventh of a minor minor chord, is C minor. could bring us to a major chord actually brings us again to a minor chord that is also restated by these chords. So it's a 4-1-4-1. Four, one, four, one. Um, Therefore, it's restated, it's like increased. It, the effect, the dramatic effect is a further increased. In this uh, in section, we have the pattern that stays for the whole section, which is that the right hand has both the melody and the accompaniment. This is very important. Don't play this uh, section like this. I can't even play it. <laughs> I'm making mistakes because it's quite a nat in, not natural for me. But nevertheless, um, try to... Uh, so first of all, you will need to sing the melody. They just tell us when the chord is changing or when a pattern is repeated. So don't take it too, um, too um, literal again. Um, with all the pedal blending it all together, we don't need to separate the bars. Also, again, it's not in style. So... Um, Is this? Me, 
then the transition. And so forth. So um, this is difficult here. Um, there, there are a couple of bars here that are a bit more difficult than the other ones. And um, I would recommend you to play them with hands separately very much in order to separate the um, accompaniment and the melody. So this knee, very quiet, okay? This is what you need to think of. Piano now. This in bar 23, it's not anymore the um, both the melody and the accompaniment, this la here. So make sure that you play it as an accompaniment and not anymore as a melody. So don't do me, la, me, la, me, da. Not like this, but Okay. Um, the pedal here is all through the bars and it's normal because the chord is the same. So what you need to do is to play very, very softly, quietly, highlight the upper part, the melody that I've just sung, and then to keep the pedal slightly down, but not all the way down. This is just for major chords that I don't think there are here, not even at the end. So, or maybe, maybe just sforzato in bar 31, we'll see. Um, so don't um, do it too, um, heavily this part in terms of things that you do. Not too much pedal, not too much weight, not too loud the volume. This is the quietest part of the piece. There's nothing. Um, then at the end we reach pianissimo, but it's another kind of pianissimo because it's a chord. Now, this is the very first time that pianissimo appears in the piece and it is not the end of uh, something. So it's a transition between different melodic ideas in the B section. So don't, it's an effect. It is a pure effect. Uh, so try to think about it when you do it, okay? So, okay, so. to what so the chord belongs to the previous part and the re 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 um, an odd number of d's um, is the introduction is the transitional part the bridge between that part and the other idea melodic idea so now this hairpin double hairpin up and down is very common in music don't take it too literal don't do like you don't have time for that and you don't have enough sound for that. So if you, because you come from a chord, after that, if you do the decrescendo after the first two notes, after this, okay, automatically the hairpin happens. And this is something that I say, um, take it or not. But if you do this, you see there's no time to do this. So I don't know. I, I don't do it. Um, it would it would be too much. It would sound as if it's pleonastic. It's too, yeah, too much. It's very easy to do re, me, re, so, re, me, re. so to skip this C. Re, si, me, re, so, re, si, me, re. Ah, in this case, the articulation is important, of course, with the pedal blend. 
bending everything. Don't take it too seriously, but do it. Do it with your fingers. Here. This 
it is more what? Sadder, more emotional. Okay, so. piano okay uh, here we have a clear mezzo forte so the tone should be a tiny bit louder and the reason for this is because afterwards there is a big crescendo that goes into pianissimo so we need space for that we need room to calm down the waters okay so um, try to do this so contributing so we start doing this kind of effect since from from when we hear this okay this is the difference so we start mezzo forte as if we go back to the beginning
So this time apart, recalls the beginning, so make sure that you do So make sure that you do it, so you do stand in there, you'll feel clear. create a tiny bit of a resonance that then goes on to the harmonics as well. We could hear the harmonics. Um, so make it very like um, I hope you liked it. If you did, put a like on this video, comment, share it with your friends, tell your friends about my channel and you can also support my work and my channel by buying a special fans on YouTube or you can become a member and enjoy all the videos about piano, music theory, musical terms and much more. Thank you very much. Bye.